Hello everyone. Today I'm going to work on this flying car uh, system. So this is the preview. So as you can see, this car can fly in the city in air like this. So this is the final. This is what we are going to implement today. So we can turn, rotate, move up, move down. And if this car collide with some of the objects, it will not stop moving. So it will not overlap or anything happen. It's just more right. So let's see how to implement this today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, so this is a this is just a blank level if you don't know just let me just create a blank level so here I have this model uh, this is actually a cyberpunk looking car model I am going to use this as the flying car and I have the doors of this car as separate objects so that I can implement opening and closing the doors uh, as well right now let me go to my BP folder and here I'm gonna create a pawn blueprint. I'll call this AR car. Right now, this is what I got. Okay, so here first, uh, oh, let me save this map. Ah, we already have maps. Let me save this as car map. Right. And I'll make this a little larger. Oh, maybe not. It looks ugly. right that's better I think okay let me do this and we don't have any game mode right now let me drag and drop this AR car into here and let me process it so that we can start directly playing that car right at the moment we don't have anything here so let's go to this folder where I have the car model cyberpunk car model let me just drag and drop it under default scene root uh, actually this model should be the root of the car so let me just reattach to the default scene root so as you just said default scene root when as you just see default scene root vanished and it is replaced with the cyberpunk car let me undo and show you again drag and drop it on the default scene road see now the car is the root the car model is the root oh wait a minute forward ac uh, axis is this way uh, but the forward should be this way right here let me undo this again and rotate this car 180 degrees and place right now you can see the forward is car is properly facing the forward direction okay now let me add the two doors under here uh, we need to set up this properly doors let me select both doors and set to unlit Wait. 
why are they moving in an odd manner? Right, let's start with uh, one door. This should be in the other side. Did it fit properly? I think so. If not, we can disable a snap in. and move it right Okay, I think uh, that's good enough. So let me copy the same values. This X is copy to the other door as well. Now this Y should be inverted. Right, okay. Now both doors are in place. And if I go to the map, we can see the car like this. All right, now let's add, uh, select again, select the root. Let's add a spring arm. And oh, where should we attach it? I said, uh, let's move it up like 200. No. Okay. Actually, we just need some camera. That's all for now. Ah, uh, wait. Oh, let's add uh, attach uh, camera. Okay. This is rotated. All right. Let me rotate the spring arm 180 degrees. Right now, that's all right. Okay, now if I play the game, let's see how it looks. Right, it looks like this. Great. Shall we give some rotation here? Uh, that's better, I think. Okay. Now, the next part is a uh, moment of this car. So, let's go first go to the inputs. Since I have used the third person template here, I think I already have move forward yeah I already have move forward move right turn this axis so I need one more to move up and down so let's call it move up and I'll use mm, space because we don't have a jump in here so this is a scale one and to move down I'll use shift yeah for now let's use shift left shift and I'll set the scale to minus one right 
now here uh, in order to add moment inputs we need a moment component so since this is a flying car i think this floating pawn moment would work right so let's try that let's add a floating pawn moment acceleration i think 4000 would be too much and the acceleration also the same maybe too much but we can work on them later first so move forward let's add moment input in the forward of the character uh, yeah, yes. this uh, get actor forward and the value connect like this and again move up axis event so here also add moment in put so for this uh, I'll use the world direction one because this is either has to go up or down based on the axis value if the axis value is positive this will go up otherwise it will go down right now shall we test oh this is reverted but it is uh, basically working but when i press w car is moving back yeah actually the problem is my model was my model had the initial rotation yeah that's not a big deal uh, can we re-rotate this no i don't think we can but if we re-import this with some import rotation this should work yeah but anyway let's just multiply this with minus one so it should be fine right okay now we can move up and go forward and backward mm -hmm. right and the collision is already properly working because cyberpunk car is the base the root and we have already set it to block all dynamics and under floating moment let's try tweak these values what if i add something like 100 for the acceleration and the acceleration Not enough. Five hundred and this one, let's say thousand, two thousand. Yeah, that feels more organic. okay uh, the next part is turning so in order to use uh, rotation uh, turn the car we can actually use two things we can in the phone settings we can uh, use controller rotation yo we can enable this and we can add the controller yo input in this more right axis uh, but i want to keep this uh, controller to turn around camera so i don't think i can use it so therefore let's use this option add rotation adapt a local rotation this one okay so I don't need to turn in any of the other directions so I'll connect just the axis value only for the yo and right 
now let's see how it looks I can move and turn as well but this kind of look unnatural that's because we don't have any lag in the camera camera don't fall behind so let me select the screen arm and let's enable camera lag for both rotation and the normal lag that means camera would fall a little bit behind when the character starts moving see now it looks more natural let me set the light into dynamic and increase the intensity a little bit because sometimes I think it feels too dark Okay, let me remove this. Yeah, it's much better now. All right, so now what else we can do? I think uh, we should smooth out this turning because it feels too fast so let me multiply this with 0.1 and see oh, that's not that's too slow 0.5 yeah that's better and also move up and down that speed is also too fast so let's multiply this one also with Try point five. Okay. alright so here is the final demonstration of what we worked on so far so this is a car that can cruise through a 3d in air so if I collide with some of the these buildings you can see it's not overlapping it's just moving away nothing happens at the moment so we can actually improve this system like implementing getting into the car with the third person character and implementing getting out and implement lights and interior and everything later on so for now i'm gonna stop this episode at this point and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and see you in another episode the project files will be available for the download bye